I'm super excited to make this video about the new Elementor AI, which is a possibility that has been added to the Elementor page builder, both in the free and the pro version. Of course, we are going to be paying for this sometime later on, but for now we are able to generate text and code within the page builder and very soon they will be introducing image generation within the page builder. But I'm a bit disappointed and here is why. Well, if you are new to this channel, my name is Hamza and I make web design tutorials and majorly using the Elementor page builder. So over the previous weeks, Elementor has been showing us what we'll be doing with a new Elementor AI and briefly to take you through what this new Elementor AI is capable of doing within your Elementor website is that, for example, if you have this homepage over here, when you click on any of the widgets, for example, this is a text widget, I can actually just come right over here and say write with ai it doesn't matter which add-on or in this case in case it comes from another add-on from elementor you still have that option and in this case this is actually a free version of elementor so obviously when i'm signing up it actually showed me that i'm on a trial version meaning that we will be paying for this feature anytime soon but for now we are able to you know for example write with ai then it brings up this pop-up here which will, you know, ask you to, for example, type in a prompt and then simplify a language or make it longer, make it shorter, fix grammar and spelling, you know, make changes to the tone and also being able to translate to a different language, which is pretty awesome. Not only that, you know, you can do even for other buttons, for other widgets. In this case, this is a button. So I can say generate with AI, which is the section where actually the text is going we could as well do for example this is for a heading widget we can still generate by clicking over here and you know add our prompts and ask elementor to actually generate for us this content also we are able to write blog posts using the new elementor ai i don't know exactly if it's based on chat gpt I am yet to find out if you know that it's actually based on ChatGPT or not. Please let me know down in the comment box below. But this actually works as it should or as Elementor intended that it should work. On the other hand, if you have like the Elementor Pro version, so actually here in the free version, if I, for example, select the widget, come to advance, for example, if I want to add CSS to this widget, I am not able to use the CSS feature because I'm in the free version of Elementor. So if I want to add CSS using the Elementor AI feature, I should have the Elementor Pro. And for example, on this website, I have Elementor Pro. And for example, if I want to generate a custom piece of code, for example, CSS, I could just, for example, select that widget. In this case, when I select this button, come to advanced and down below here, under CSS, I'm able to use that CSS feature and then I can say code with AI. So if I say code with AI, right over here, I can enter in my prompt. So, okay, I have to get started and all these prompts that Elementor is asking me to uh, accept. Now here I can describe the kind of code that I want to generate in this case. So for example, you want this button to hover, uh, you want this button to shrink on hover or to change background color on hover. You just simply add your prompt, generate code and you're good to go. But here is my disappointment. When I came here to the Elementor landing page, it says web creation with AI. And my expectation, I was like, maybe I'll be able to recreate designs using the Elementor AI within the page builder. Maybe I'm able to get a screenshot of a page that I want to recreate in Elementor and with the power of the Elementor AI, then I'm able to recreate by simply uploading the screenshot or by simply adding a URL to that screenshot and Elementor will regenerate for me that layout using their AI. However, the Elementor AI is basically doing what has already been in existence. For example, we've been able to do the same text generation and code generation within ChatGPT, which is even for free. Then we could just get our text, add it into our Elementor page builder, and we are good to go. Of course, this feature being embedded within Elementor makes your workflow a little bit faster, improved, and easier. However, that is not what I personally expected. And here is why. About a year ago, I created this tutorial over here talking about how you can recreate websites using 
AI. And in this case, this tool is actually based on the Elementor page builder. This is none other than the 10 web builder. So what 10 web did was to get the Elementor page builder and enable you to recreate any kind of design or to create any kind of design using AI. So for example, you can just grab a URL of any website, regardless whether it is made in Webflow or Squarespace or whatever, get the URL, add it into your 10 web application, and then you are able to recreate that same website within 10 web based on the Elementor editor. If you want to check out this video, I'm going to link it down in the description of this video so you can go check it out. So just to show you over here on the 10 web website, there is an option called AI Builder. Click over there and then you'll be taken to this page, which actually shows you that you can build professional websites times 10 faster with AI. Get AI generated content and images, customize your Elementor best, customize with the Elementor best editor. This is only the Elementor free version. And when you get time to check out 10 web, they actually also have premium or pro widgets that you can use with the Elementor editor within their, their platform. I hope that actually makes sense. So for example, when I come over here into the dashboard of 10 web here, I can say, create a website. And here I can add the site name, I can select, you know, the server, and then you'll be able to create that website. It will be a WordPress website, have Elementor installed and some 10 web plugins. And then later you'll be able to start using their AI generation to generate your websites within WordPress using Elementor. Now, what I expected with the Elementor AI was that to not only enable us to recreate other websites, but also, if we admire a certain type of page, website, we could just get a snapshot of that page, get it into the Elementor page builder, and we are good to go. We just have to recreate it, or the Elementor AI enables us to recreate that page. Not only that, but also getting design inspiration within Elementor. For example, you could, in this case, enter a prompt on a page. For example, when I say add a new container, probably here they could have added an option like create with AI. Then once I click over there, I can enter a prompt of like, um, create for me a hero section with a background image, you know, left aligned and then, and all those features that you want to appear in your hero section and then say recreate. Then it would recreate like one, two, three different design inspirations that you would pick from and use them within your Elementor editor or just simply make some changes. Before I even forget, they are promising that we are going to be having an image generation feature within the Elementor AI, which is actually awesome. Of course, this has also been existing. Like, you know, if you have tested out Midjourney, where you're able to generate AI images and other platforms like Lexica.art. In fact, I use Lexica.art to create these images on this website. If you checked out the tutorial that I released on my YouTube channel, I took you through how I actually built this website. And I also explained how I generated these images using Lexica. For example, you could just get any image, upload it to lexica.art, and then it would recreate for you using AI similar images to that image. So hopefully even the Elementor AI, when it comes out, I'll not only be able to enter a prompt of the kind of images I want, but also be able to upload an image or a kind of image that I would want the AI to recreate. But I don't want to have the same possibilities that are already elsewhere and I'm having them for free. Then I will have to get them within the Elementor page builder and then end up paying for them. Like the possibility to generate text, the possibility to generate blog posts, and also the possibility to generate images. I can still get that on ChatGPT and recreate them for free. In fact, there are even better platforms like Cola.sh, which can actually create for you better, well-structured blog posts, even long form in this case, 2000 words plus, that you can even send straight to your WordPress website without having to add any third parties. So of course this is a paid tool, but it does the job way better 
than how actually the Elementor AI is going to do. So if we actually have to pay for this feature and we be proud of the Elementor AI, I am thinking that we could actually have better when it comes to automation and creativity, pushing boundaries, and even expanding our business opportunities. I mean, if I am able to create more layouts based on a sketch, based on an idea that I saw on Rebo or uh, onepagelove.com, then it makes my processes faster. And that way I'm able to execute more projects which is a good side of business. If I'm able to deliver more projects to my clients, then I make more money. So if I'm going to pay for a tool and it's going to enable me to make more money, I'll be happy and they'll be happy and my clients will be happy. So let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Are you impressed with the new Elementor AI? Am I very fast to come up with a conclusion? Maybe they are already working on what I am thinking about or I am praying about or maybe this is all that they are able to offer to us, or maybe there are even better options. With that said, thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure that you hit the like button. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. My name is Hamza, and see you in the next video. Goodbye.